The place is Mordica, Garissa County in Kenya. Here we meet a team of experts from the Directorate of Veterinary Services carrying out surveillance exercises on camels in the area in response to threats of existence of the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, a viral respiratory disease caused by a novel coronavirus. MERS COVID disease which came to the scene in the year 2012. In Kenya, we heard of deaths and infection of people in Saudi Arabia. And uh, when this uh, news came, there was shock in this part of the, uh, the region because people are dying in Saudi Arabia. What, what will happen here? The emergence of the mask of coast panic across the Horn of Africa, as it is indeed one of the largest exporters of camels to the Middle East. The Igad region hosts around 60% of the camel population in the world. When uh, uh, Maskov uh, came out in uh, the Arabian Peninsula and killed over 200 people, the whole value chain was affected in the first place. The milk, meat, uh, live animal trade, and also the bones and hides. The Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, stepped in to support Kenya, Ethiopia, Egypt, and Jordan establish technical working groups to carry out surveillance, research, and capacity building sessions on Maskov. Courtesy of FAO, for the last two years, we have been doing surveillance of this disease every two months. And it has been of real relevance because it gives us the picture of the disease. And I'm happy to say so far that we haven't really detected this disease. Eh? Furthermore, a cross-sectional study on camels from different counties in the arid and semi-arid lands of Kenya were identified and farmers mobilized accordingly. The first time when we came, we engaged the counties, we engaged the camel owners association. We were able to do what we call a cross-sectional, where we involved all the camel uh, producing counties. Before now, we zeroed in on the cohorts. Starting with the high-risk areas, a checklist was developed of international standards on sampling methodology, preservation, and transportation of samples. The checklist contains all the items that you need to go to the field so that you do the sampling. We take a subset of the population, and the subset we take must be correct enough to be able to be projected to the entire population. The reason why we do a subset is because it is costly to sample all the animals, and it is not sometimes possible. So we must take a representative sample size to be able to give us a picture of what is happening in that population. The samples that we do correct, we must preserve them in three ways. Eh? We have two VTMs, that is viral transport medium, two samples, and one sample in the trizo medium. As collection of tissue from live animals can be challenging, the surveillance teams further visit slaughterhouses to collect more samples with veterinary students in tow. I've learned how to take samples from the nasal swabs and also taking from the jugular vein. Initially I was really scared, but it's, it's, it's made me more confident and I feel like they are more friendly now after the exposure. These interventions by the FAO has seen tremendous improvement in the capacity of the National Lab in Garissa County to receive and process samples while maintaining the integrity of their results. Now we are able to collect samples or receive samples from Moscow. They have also assisted us with the equipment and uh, some consumer suppliers. Indeed, with the National Laboratory performing at its optimum to detect Maskov and the training of field teams to conduct surveillance, the body of knowledge about the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome has in turn led to an increase in confidence levels for the country's camel industry. Through the establishment of the Maskov Technical uh, Working Group, the confidence uh, with regard to the safety of our camels and the camel products has been restored, which is good uh, for the camel industry. We are really very thankful because even as they exit, we still pray that they don't go very far. But nevertheless, we have the capacity.